hello and welcome back to my channel today i'm taking you through my digital illustration process where i create this cute artwork in adobe illustrator i hope you enjoy the video so without further ado let's get started lately i've been struggling a bit with an art block and despite wanting to draw something i just can't think of more ideas so on days like this i tend to scroll through my previous sketches for inspiration so as I was sifting through my sketchbook, I found a doodle I wanted to create digitally. Normally, I always sketch out my artworks in pencil, then scan them and then upload and import them on Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop, whatever the software I'm using. After that, I outline and chalk out all my elements, making sure I keep them organized on different layers. So next, to color my artwork, I use pre-made palettes from colorhunt.co. This website is super helpful and saves me a lot of time. However, it is rare that I stick to one palette only because I tend to mix and match and play with different hues until I find a combination that I like the most. I also tend to keep outlines for my artworks and I keep the stroke width around 3. Um, but today I wanted to try out a new art style so I decided to ditch the outlines. But I noticed that without the outlines, the artwork was looking very boring and flat. If you feel that your artwork is flat, you can add textures and I've honestly learned to use textures as a superpower. To add the texture, I used the gradient and texture tools to add a stripled gradient but trust me guys, I struggled with it so much because I had to refer to different YouTube videos again and again because I was struggling with how I manage the light and everything. But anyways, I think it turned out really nicely. And lastly, I had to add in my text. So I tend to use thicker and bubbly fonts instead of minimalist ones since that is just not my art style. And one of my favorite ones are Camilla Vintage and Retro Groovy. I tried to experiment a lot with where I wanted my text to be and at the end I just settled on keeping it in the middle. So this is the completed version. It is quite different from the initial sketch but I felt like this was something new for me and a new art style that I tried out. I love the colors and the whole concept of the poster but what do you guys think? If you like the video please share and like it and subscribe to the channel. Take care and I'll see you on another Serendipity Sunday. Bye!